<laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this is a classic right here. A GT RTS. We got the whole history of GT bikes here. GT was one of the first brands to really build proper full suspension bikes and race them successfully, winning world championship titles like Julie Furtado won the downhill world championship on this GT RTS that was about 1993. It was one of the first full suspension bikes that really worked, you know, and you know, there was low travel for today's standard, you know, only probably about 100 uh, millimeters of travel, but you know, you had to start somewhere. I mean, was before disc brakes and all that and um, bikes have evolved like the next bike was one of the all-time classics and favorites the GT LTS that is a bike I actually still have a couple of them myself at home and even for today's standards you sit on these bikes and they feel right and they were all over the place especially in Southern California where GT was everybody was riding that bike and worldwide it's this was a game changer you know this was a full suspension bike that actually worked and it was like you could start doing aggressive trail riding. This is somebody who dropped their personal bike off today, it's also an LTS. And the LTS then evolved into a few other models like the STS. And this was a, it was built on the same platform but this was more like a downhill version of the bike. And our team like Nicholas Vuillot, Mike King, they used to race this bike, Steve Pete. And this was actually the Thermoplast, this was kind of a a form of carbon that GT helped uh, to develop and spearhead and it's different than carbon and then we made that all in-house um, and it's a super trick and beautiful slick finish and from the from the, the Lobo it evolved into the whole iDrive thing and iDrive has been kind of the last um, almost 20 years now of GT and iDrive had a few different versions this was one of the original iDrives um, and from there eventually it moved into the different versions with the flex bone and the dog bone down here and the latest versions were the GT Force and sensors with the AOS system. So we're always working on new stuff like currently we have some e-bikes in the works and our special projects back in the days were always those gearbox bikes. So we experimented around. This was really futuristic stuff back in 1994, I think, or so. This bike was one of the first concept bikes. And then later we, we actually came out with a production bike, the IT1, which was this bike, and kind of ahead of its time. But um, one of the biggest collector item bike models, I think, ever made, because there was only I don't know how many we made, but um, several hundred maximum, you know. In order to know where we are going, we have to know where we've been. Stay tuned, more to come from GT Bicycles this summer.